Hey guys, thanks for tuning into this week's video. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you're liking our videos. We got a special treat for you this week. So ever since we started the brand, you know, we've been out fishing, been at trade shows, talking to people, and people here and there have come up to us and asked about Tenkara and wanted to learn more about Tenkara, and people might say, oh, is that a cane pole? Now, we've never really fished with a cane pole, so we don't know. I went ahead and ordered one, just so we could find out. And we're gonna unbox it right here, take it out on the river. <laughs> is there a wild cat right here? <laughs> we're, we're in the middle. We just drove down a dirt road for like 10 miles and there's a wild, <laughs> there's a wild house cat. Just bombing our video. Knows we're gonna catch some fish. All right, let's see what we got. Oh. All right, a little bit of, a little bit of paper in here. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right, we got Uncle Buck's cane pole. No sponsorship here, but uh, we'll see how it goes. See what Uncle Buck has in store for us today. Don't really know how these work. Pretty simple. Looks like, uh, what is this? Four feet. Just gonna connect. Yeah, I think it's a 12 footer. So I got a 12 foot 10 car rod. I'm gonna grab that real quick. <laughs> it's not, it's not straight. Yeah, so when I Googled what is a cane pole, it said uh, it's a long stick that you attach a line to and usually fish steel water uh, for panfish. So I think the, the biggest difference is, so this is a Tenkara rod, you know, 20 inches compacted. Um, but a Tenkara rod, you're gonna fish mainly uh, rivers, streams, faster water for trout, um, obviously you could take it other places, just like we're going to take this thing that's usually meant for still water and panfish. We're going to try and catch some trout in a mountain stream with it. It's a little rickety, makes some noises, but we'll see how it goes. This is one of our new Tenkara rods that we're making. Um, it's actually made in Japan. It's not out yet. Uh, but yeah, this is actually made by one of the finest Tenkara manufacturers in the world and it's going to be a really really fun rod so we're going to use this today versus the cane pole and just kind of see the similarities and differences. So for the Tenkara rod I'm going to extend it out and it should be around the same height as this cane pole I think. Yeah within a few inches the cane pole is maybe five times or ten times as heavy as this Tenkara rod. This is about two, two and a half ounces. And this is probably, I don't know, close to a pound. I have to take this thing down. Oh. I think it's stuck. <laughs> oh, <sh> <laughs> so this will be an eight foot length, I guess. That's kind of nice. If you want, you could just fish an eight foot cane pole. There we go. There we go. We're good. Hope we can catch some fish today. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do the cane pole first on this one. This looks like a really nice little hole. So, stick that in there. We're pretty fancy. All right, go a loop. Make a little loop through that hole. 
then what do do that here oh yeah look at that no worries all right so i got like a 10 or 11 foot line and then i got maybe three or four foot of tippet then i have this traditional tenkara fly right here and we're at a mountain stream and i got my cane pole uncle buck's cane pole right here so we're gonna cast out see if we can catch a few fish on it this thing is so you can feel how heavy it is the videos i watched the guys were holding it he said you hold a cane pole like this <laughs> oh maybe i will hold it like this yeah so i'm fishing like a kabari and it it it, it, it kind of sinks beneath the surface a little bit so when you're fishing a tenkara rod, there's a lot of feel that goes into it. And with this, with this cane pole, I'm not gonna feel anything. It's so heavy. Like you can't feel the cast. You can't feel the line load. It just feels totally different. I still think we'll be able to catch some fish on it. It's just not gonna, it's not gonna feel the same. Let me get carpal tunnel fish in this thing. It's so rickety. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now my cane pole is all wet. <laughs> Come on, Uncle Buck. Whoa! Whoa. Painful. Didn't feel very good, but doable. Caught a few on the cane pole. Now we're just gonna switch it up and fish this uh, tenkara rod. Um, yeah, so I guess we're fishing a 13 foot line. And that cane pole, you know, it works. I caught some fish on it, but it's real heavy to cast. You can't really feel um, when the fish hit or anything, but you know, I bet it'd be pretty fun on a pond. We're just gonna, we're gonna fish this to car rod for a little bit, catch a few more and then, you know, see what happens. I put a dry fly on cause I saw it eat just right up above these boulders in this little pool. So we're gonna go for a first cast with the tenkara rod and see how it goes. Go. Tiny one. You didn't send him flying like Uncle Buck did. That's true. That's true. They're eating at least. Pretty small again. Fun though. All right, so it's pretty smoky out, so we're not trying to stay out too long for the lungs. Uh, but yeah, we just got done fishing with the cane pole and the tenkara rod. You know, I'd say the biggest difference is the cane pole weighs a lot more than the tenkara rod. You can't really feel the cast. Um, with the Tenkara rod, you have a lot more presentation, a lot more action to the cast. You can feel when the fish hit the rod. Um, this worked, I caught a few fish on it, but you know, I'm double handing to cast. The line's kind of flopping everywhere. I could see how this would be good to fish with a pond if you were just holding it. You had some live bait on there and you were just holding this pole like that. But you know the beauty of tenkara is you're able to pack it down you're able to take it hike with it you know fish these mountain streams really easily whereas this is a little more cumbersome a little heavier um yeah so that's a wrap up for this video if you guys like it you know go ahead comment tell us what you think also we have some new hats in the shop 
I'm gonna uh, link the description below. New videos every other Tuesday. Check it out.